So today I'm going to be doing a video on my stuff that I purchased for Black Friday. I had to wait for it to come in. Sorry, I know this is super, it's a bit later than Black Friday stuff should have been here a long time ago. But I did some purchasing on some Black Friday stuff. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you give me a good thumbs up. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. And if this isn't your first time here, welcome back. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so. Just click the little subscribe button and make sure you are clicking on the notification bell. So you're getting the notifications of when my upcoming videos are on. Okay, so I placed an order for TKB Trading. So if you guys don't know, TKB Trading is a company that sends out things like micas and stuff. So you can make your own eyeshadows and makeup and lipsticks and soaps and stuff like that. So it's mostly organic-y stuff that is like minerals and better for you than like I guess say the regular makeup that we all buy so let's just go in I've been kind of dabbling a little bit in playing with making my own eyeshadows just because I well go through a lot of eyeshadow and although I have a crap ton of eyeshadows and things like that I love just coming up with new ideas and like there are specific colors that I wish were made that just haven't come out yet or maybe I just haven't seen them yet by a makeup brand. So like I have decided that on top of being a makeup artist and loving to play with makeup and stuff like that, I was going to dabble a little bit in trying to make my own eyeshadows. This is just for me and maybe for some friends. For Let's just jump right in. So first off, I purchased there is um, a pressed powder kit that you can buy and it was on sale so it came with instructions on how to do whatever you need to do obviously there are YouTube videos on stuff like that as well but um, so your pressed powder beginner kit so it came with some some gloves not that I will ever use these these ones not saying that I don't wear the gloves when I actually make eyeshadows for my friends I just have different gloves that are better they're smaller for my actual hands and they're like hairdressing gloves instead and then it came with a spatula that looks like this and then two of these and these are just like little scoop things so then it came with two eyeshadow palettes they are a quad so there's four of them and then it comes with a mirror too which is pretty cool but they have these little things so you can just pop them out and this is um I'm not sure if it's magnet at the bottom, but like you can, they just fit right in here perfectly. Came with these two, and these are things, these are pressed tiles. So you're supposed to just put them in and just press down. And then it came with this lovely tempered tool. This is really cool. I just thought this was gorgeous. So then it also came with, it came with the nine eyeshadow pans. I do recommend if you're gonna do this, you're gonna want more than nine, so grab an extra few more. And then it came with a pressing ribbon, and this is what it looks like. And what it is is you cut a piece off and then you press down your eyeshadows with it. And then it came with a bunch of baggies. What the baggies are for is to actually put all your eyeshadows in and mix it together. Please ignore all the noise in the background. They are literally tearing apart a whole section of ground outside right now. Kind of like right in front of where I'm filming. It's really irritating. So if you can hear all that noise, I am sorry. And then it also came with, a, it's called My Mix Press base and what this is is actually the base for your eyeshadow so you need to have more than just mica powders which is like the color when you're actually putting in a eyeshadow you need to have that base so there's a bit of like it so it sticks together a little bit better than just the mica if you just use mica and alcohol it just like psh, 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 you know like all the kick out that actually happens so you need to have a base with that and then it came with this here and this is my mix press it binder and this one's got preservatives in it which is great because if you're making an eyeshadow and you're giving it to somebody you need to have a preservatives in it so it lasts a bit longer I actually purchased some more of my mix press it binder I wanted to have a little bit more than the actual kit just because I am going to be using this also to make some glittered eyeshadows and stuff like that so I needed a little bit more of this than what they were offering in that kit so I purchased that one all right to go along with that I also purchased more of the base this is the my mix base and this was this is the four ounces okay so the reason why I grabbed this was like I said I was planning I am planning on using a bunch of 
like glitters and stuff to make glitter eyeshadows, but I wanted there to be a little bit more of a base, so I'm going to be using this. If you guys want to kind of see me doing that or see how those actually turned out, leave me a comment in the comments below because I'm going to be making them in the next little while. And then for the fun part, okay, so I also purchased some micas. They have this insane amount of different kinds of mica. I absolutely love the range of different micas and different colors and stuff like that. So I originally have bought some mica through a different website and from like Etsy and stuff like that, which was, it works totally fine, it's great, but I find that TKB has a bit better of an array of stuff and there's some amazing things. So I just picked up a few of these. These are all sample sizes, so they're tiny. They're like a tablespoon or something, but like they were under two bucks for each of them. Let me tell you how far these go. I don't know. Um, they can fill up like a plastic container, like a smaller one. So that's pretty crazy. So I've already used like one like this. So this is called Apple Blossom and this is the color that it is. And this is such a nice pink color. I've already used this a few times and it doesn't really look like it's been used. And then this one here is called Winter Rose. And this is the color that it is. This is gorgeous. I actually have mixed this and this one together with another one of the ones that I bought and it makes a beautiful highlighter. And then this is called Smoky XXX. I think it's, that's what it's called. That's what it says on the thing. And this is um, a purpley dark color. It's got a very nice, smoky, pigmenty color, and it's also got a bit of a sheen to it, which is really pretty. I haven't actually used that one yet. And then I got some collections. So I'll start with this one. This is the Starbright collection, and these are all sample sizes as well. This one is the Sinera, 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 Sun. I don't know, I can't read, okay guys? Um, I can't read, I'm just really bad at pronouncing names that I have no idea. If you can see the shift in here and the sparkles, it's amazing. I am super excited for that one. And then there's Cherica Moon, I think it's called. So this is called Cherica Moon and this is the shift in it. And then this one is the new, the new Merida, I think it's called. Honestly, if I'm reading these wrong, I'm sorry, but this is what it looks like. So those look amazing. And then the last set that I got is called the Shift Collection. And these were, there were five of these ones and this is the Sunrise Shift. And that's what it looks like. These are all really nice duo chromey shifty colors. So this is the Indigo Shift and you can see that there's a reason why it's called Indigo because it's got that nice purpley indigo-y color shift. I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but. And this is the Golden Shift and it should be a little bit more goldy. These make amazing highlighters. This is the Sunset Shift. Formerly, I guess this is the Sun Bright Green Shift. I don't really know. This is what it says on the thing if you wanna grab it. Who knows? So that is what it looks like. So I'm excited to actually play around with these. I have made a few um, the minute they came in. I was so excited, I could not even wait to do this video. I literally just got out some stuff and started making eyeshadows right away. If you guys wanna see um, see a video on some of the eyeshadows I've already made with these, leave me a comment in the comments below and I can do some swatches and stuff. I made sure that I kept my formulas for that. Um, so that was everything for TKB. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.